Daddy, when did the end? When did the end, Daddy? So we came out this morning to finish working on uh, the dash, the bulkhead, blah, other stuff, and the floor we just redid underneath the driver's seat and that little side console thing are wet because it's been raining and we can't quite figure out what it is. We have no leaks anywhere else, but we think it is the driver window. So <sighs> we always come on the bus thinking we're going to get to do something else. Um, but that's what we're going to do today is we're going to pull that window out and reseal it. And hopefully that solves the problem because we just spent a whole lot of time fixing the floor down here and installing that side console to come out here and see things soaking wet, so. So we got our window out and right back here in this crack is where all the water was leaking through and coming through the side of the fuse panel right here and coming down and dripping. Um, so that's where our leak was. We got the window out, we we're cleaning it up and then um, we're gonna reseal it with some butyl tape, um, some new weather stripping and um, Hopefully that'll fix our issue and we will have a week free bus. Yes. Finally. <laughs> So we got our so we got our butyl tape laid down around the edges. Um, like I said, right back here, this is the seam where I believe everything was the issue and um, where it was leaking through. Because on our frame, you have these little holes that um, are drilled in, but there were no screws in there. There wasn't a patch over the top of them or anything like that. So I think what was happening is the water was going through the, through these holes into the frame and then leaking down that seam. Um, but we got it sealed up with the butyl tape. We're getting ready to put the frame back in, um, with the windows and hopefully we will be leak free. It's not supposed to rain for another week or so. Um, so we won't really be able to give it a test, but at least it'll be in again and um, we're just gonna hope for the best. All right, so we got our window back in, um, got the screws up in top. Um, getting the window back in was a little tricky, but now it slides how it's supposed to. And um, like I said, hopefully uh, we're not gonna have any leaks. So this task, I guess you could call complete. So we are trying to finish putting in all of the things we'll, that will put holes in the ceiling or the walls so that we can get to insulating them. So today we are working on the floodlights. Um, got a suggestion from uh, Parish Schoolies uh, YouTube video and got some like they had because it was a hell of a deal. So we'll see if we like them. Um, we got a pack of five. We're doing one on every corner of the bus as kind of like security floodlight type thing. 
and then um, we're gonna tie one into the uh, brake lights or the reverse lights, excuse me, so that um, if it's somewhere and we're like trying to um, get into a tight space or something, we have more light um, on the situation. So um, seems like that will be helpful. Basically we have an extra one and we're not sure what to do with it. So that's what we're doing today. Because you, you want it when you're going in reverse, you said, right? Okay. Do you think the backup camera has a light on it? Probably not. You want something to actually clean it with or are you good? Good thing this guy is tall because we don't have an actual ladder. So he's just on a step stool. Hey, good enough. Might be a little crooked, but fuck it. <laughs> I'm not afraid of drilling holes into the bus anymore. Not after so many. That's not going to go into the light, is it? Is that a dumb question? Yep. Yeah. I'll be quiet. with me today and everything I say. Yeah, good thing you had glasses and stuff on. You just got metal shavings in your mouth, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to get you the glasses at least, dude. Since we drilled three holes to to I I have it pulled as it's pulled. Oh I see. There. So the middle hole we drilled is for the wires to go through and the other two holes are for mounting the actual floodlight. Am I good to put the washer and nut on that one? We have a ratcheting one that's this small. You might be able to find one. That would be less annoying and much quicker. Give me just a second. I'm just, you might have to hold it with the wrench now. I'll have to tighten it. Okay, why is that? Because you're probably hitting to the end of the socket. And it's not a deep socket. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're probably right. And I'm getting butyl tape in it. Okay, next one. Okay. Am I starting with the socket or are you just doing it from the get-go? Huh? Okay, cool. Let me get the let me get the washer and the bolt on first or the nut or whatever. Um, it's a little crooked. There we go. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Super exciting stuff, right? So it's that times four. Not going to show you the whole process because that's a really boring video. But um, for reference, uh, we got the 30 watt bright white ones. Um, hopefully that's enough. We wanted them 12 to 24 voltage and there's different kinds on there. But anyway, for reference, if it matters, that's what we picked and we'll let you know at some point how we feel about them. So we've been working all day without recording any of it and I think um, we've just kind of enjoyed not having to stop every five seconds to document stuff, no offense, but so we are framing out Preston's bed. Um, we finished installing our floodlights, which was boring to document beyond what we already showed. Um, what else did we do today? Oh yeah, we put in our um, final travel seat so we've been making good progress, but I thought I would pause to show you what we're doing here and explain the plan for how we're gonna frame out Preston's bed. Okay, so this is gonna be Preston's bunk. We want to frame it out so we can put some insulation down because this engine gets hot. He's never gonna be sleeping up here or hanging out up here when we're driving, but even if we drive for you know a few hours in the day and then stop kind of abruptly to immediately go to bed, he's gonna be pretty toasty. And he's a warm blooded kind of guy anyway. So we're gonna insulate this. Um, and then here is kind of a wonky spot to frame out. So we're gonna um, 
we're not 100% sure, but we're gonna frame out this way and then kind of down and around it because we can't drill into this. This is like the opening to the engine from inside the bus. Um, so we'll frame that in some way and this may become his stairs up to his bed. We'll see, we haven't really figured out how we're gonna do stairs to his bed and then up to Stevie's bunk, um, but we'll see. So that's a possibility, not 100% sure, but for now we're framing this out, insulating it, and then going from there. night we finished up this much of framing the bed like I mentioned we have to figure out what kind of stair situation we're gonna put there and honestly we're arguing a bit over how to handle the door for the shower so if you have any ideas Shane wants to do a cedar sliding like barn door of sorts which will probably work but something about wood near water and I know cedar is like antimicrobial or whatever but uh, I don't know, part of me just wants like a half wall that you just like step into and shower, but then you'd have water everywhere. So I don't know, um, not really sure what we're gonna do. Um, don't want just like a basic um, shower door. So if you guys have ideas, throw them in the comments below. Would love to hear any and all ideas because we're kind of stuck on that. And someone said the other day, they said, as you're building, the build guides you in a direction. And that's so true. So maybe we'll find what we're gonna do when we get there, but right now we're stuck, so help. That's what she does when I'm trying to record. So we're gonna frame out our pantry area today, put up some Reflectix, um, nothing major, just some small things that need to get done. Um, we're borrowing friends GoPro because they rave about them. So we'll see how uh, this video turns out with that. Can I bust dust now? Mm, bust some dust. We are getting to a point where we are ready to put up the walls in some spaces. So um, we still have to wire and put up outlets and things like that. But in the spaces where we don't have to do that, we're gonna go ahead and insulate and put up the walls. Um, we are keeping any and all outlets away from the bed spaces. I might get into that later. Um, we have our reasons for it. And then, um, so as we're getting ready to do the walls, we realize that we need something to anchor the base of the wall and we don't want to drill stuff. It will be tricky to drill thin pieces of wood into the floor, right? Just be stupid. So, and not possible. So, so we are putting two by twos all along the base of the wall so that we can then put up um, so we're putting Reflectix in the wall and then we're going to do our wool insulation and then Reflectix on the outside and then um, put a thin piece of plywood. Ah! Bless you. Sorry. That's thicker than we're doing that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But it'll just give a anchor for the bottom. To shoot straight up to the top. Yep. And then right here. Yep. And, then, right and then we'll have a beautiful little windowsill that we'll probably need to put some kind of finishing piece on. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, anyway, um, it'll all make sense when it's put together, but yeah, yay. And again, the bus is like rearranged and stuff's everywhere again, because Preston's bed is framed no. out. And, now oh. it's a foam bed. Now, it, now it's insulation bed. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, stuff everywhere. Trying to get things as situated as possible, but that's what we're doing. All right, so it doesn't feel like much, but all those are in all along the base um, of the wall. And yeah, the bus is organized-ish. 
we're getting all that reflectix in. So moving the wood was nice so I could get to all those window spaces or wall spaces I couldn't get to before. Obviously I still have more to do, uh, but we're getting there. So yeah, um, it's hard because some of this stuff doesn't feel like much progress. Shane boxed in the rest of that, like fuel access, whatever the heck that thing is on the side of the wall. Um, but we can't do much more with the pantry space or we have the walls in. So that was one of the motivators for doing the walls. So um, everybody, not everybody, a lot of people do the beautiful like roll out pantries in their buses. And I love those and I wanted one so bad, even before bus stuff. Um, but honestly, we really love all the windows and we're gonna do our damnedest to keep them all wide open, completely unobstructed. Obviously there's gonna be a few situations where that's impossible to avoid. Um, but really the only place that is going to be totally blocked is where the fridge is. So, um, yeah, so that's the goal and that's why, so our pantry is going to be kind of small, but I think doable because we're also going to have some open shelving above like the sink space, um, to put with like a lip to put like a lot of our dried goods and stuff are in mason jars. So put some mason jars up there. Um, and then this cabinet down here will be for like chips and pastas and things like that dried goods so um and we're gonna have a full-size fridge so yay um but all in all it's you have to make sacrifices here and there um to get the things that are really important to you so it all works for us so i am a little bummed that i'm not going to get the beautiful pinterest instagram worthy uh roll out pantry but it is what it is The nice thing is how easy you can flip it around. So we are getting to a point where I have it like sideways. Hello, hello. <laughs> anyway, um, we just give me the damn thing. Yes, is it on? Well, I'm just talking, saying random stuff, so you could say, "Yeah, babe, it's on," mm. and then I can cut it. But that that, funny. my butt was in your face. I didn't see. Ooh. I saw. I just myself. Is this, is this my good side? This Every side. side's your good side. Every side's your good side. <coughs> <laughs> Even that side. I don't know what I just inhaled, but it sucked.